it's Saturday, so for today's video, I have had so much fun, so much fun over the last one and a half weeks. Um, I think it's taken me one and a half weeks. It might have taken me longer. Um, I have no sense of time management. As you can tell by the title of this video, I have successfully, successfully made a chalkboard dress. I just. I just, it's sitting over there. I can see it. It's looking at me. I'm looking at it. I am loving it. I've, I've had, I've had so much fun making this dress. I made this dress from scratch. I painted it with chalkboard paint. It has worked out so well. So in this video, you not only get to see me chaotically making the dress in my typical Janet fashion, but then also you get to see the reveal of not only me showing you that you can draw on it, you can wipe it off and you can draw on it again, but also I decided to put on a cheeky bit of artwork for you, a cheeky bit of an artistic masterpiece on for you so that you can sit there and be like oh my gosh Janet your skills should just be in the Louvre <laughs> and at the end of the video if you feel a little bit cheeky a little bit saucy a love and a little life on the risky side of things don't forget to like comment subscribe all that kind of dumb stuff but without further ado time for intense orchestral music a boom Pin all these together. This is how it spins. That's right. It has a spin quality, and I am so freaking happy about it. I can have like a cute little oop, Marilyn Monroe moment. Oh, I just, I'm so happy with my self. So I want to show you the chalkboard quality of the dress because like I understand with this kind of thing, I could have just bought a dress. I could have just painted chalkboard paint on it. Would have been so much easier. Would have literally taken me like an hour to do that video, but when do I ever do something the easy way? Watch this. I'm gonna draw myself a cute little heart. It freaking works! It works! It works! It works! Oh, and then if I decide to myself, oh, you know what? I don't actually like that. I can just wipe her off, dry her off. And then guess what I can do? I can draw a star instead! Can I draw a star? Why? Because it's chalk! I did it. I'm too excited. I, I need too much coffee again. Actually, there's no such thing as too much coffee, but, 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 buttery, but, 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 
because I've now shown off the chalkboard quality. Time for a quality transition into a masterpiece, into just a complete work of art with this dress. A one, a two, a three, boom! And there you have it! I just, uh, okay, I just, I made a chalkboard dress. I made a chalkboard dress. So I decided, I decided for the artwork for it, for at least this video, because like I know that I'm gonna be drawing on this dress a hell of a ton just because I'm gonna get bored and I'm gonna be like, you know what I wanna do today? I wanna draw on my dress. And I feel as though it's actually really great for people like me who get bored of patterns and outfits really easily. <laughs> Like, I live in hoodies, like, 24-7. I live in hoodies 24-7. But when I want to go out, I'm always like, oh, I want to wear that one. Ah, uh, but I've already worn that, like, twice in the last five years. So I'm bored of it, so I'm going to wear something else. Ah, uh, I've worn everything else like that as well, so I'm going to go out and buy something new. Whereas with this, if I'm just like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to draw something on it. And then it's suddenly different. So I feel as though with people like me who have a short attention span, what are you? It's really, really good. And the reason I went for it is because, like, one, it gives me a really great excuse to wear some, like, ooh, vampy kind of red makeup, and another excuse to wear contact lenses, which, like, I am not mad about. I love wearing contact lenses. Um, and just, like, it just came out, and, like, everyone's watching it, and, like, my sister went and saw it, and she said that she loved it. I'm never seeing it, ever, because, like, I don't like horror movies. Um, if there is one way that you want to, like, break up a friendship with me, like, take me to a horror movie. If you never want to be friends with me again, just surprise me by taking me to a horror movie. Like, that's all you have to do, because I will, I will, I will actually hate you. I hate, 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 hate horror movies. I can respect them, don't get me wrong. Like, a lot of time and effort goes into them, but at the same time, no. Also, like, it was a black dress, and I was like, black, just, a little black dress, like, it just screamed a bit spooky to me. I'll probably do something else to it that's gonna make it look really cute and stuff later, but at the moment I just wanted to go for a good old spook fest, and the first thing that came to mind was it. Also, I have to show you the drippy dress. Just, just look at this, right? Does that not look so freaking cute? Look at that! Imagine that with rainbows. <gasps> Imagine that with rainbows. <gasps> Imagine that with rainbows. Either way, I'm rambling. Um, once again, I just, I'm so happy with myself. I'm so proud of the dress. Like it worked out so well. I love that. I just love, I just love everything about it and the endless possibilities when it comes to the artwork that I can put on top. I am so excited for. So if you have any suggestions of things that you want to see on this dress, please let me know down in the comments because like, I just, mm, just inspire me. Just, in, just inspire me. Just, just let me know what you want to see, and I will put it on this dress because I just there's so many possibilities, and I'm so happy, and I'm so excited, and just oh, all of the good feelings, all the good feelings once again. That is why I love making these videos because like I get an absolute kick. I have the best time making these videos, and so many of you guys love when I make these videos. So like win-win situation, yeah. Two birds, one video. That kind of shenanigans. What am I even saying? By the way, I digress. And I know I've done so many of them in this video already, but I just, it wouldn't feel like a completed video, like an actual Reifenstein video, if we didn't have a few sexy Either way, I hope that you really, really enjoyed it. Um, I hope that it just it just brightened your day a little bit. If you want to see any more chaotic fashion, let me know down in the comments. If you want to see any more welcome to makeups, which there will be one coming this week, let me know down in the comments. Just, just let me know how you're doing, how your day is going. But I hope you are having a fantastic day, a fantastic week, a fantastic month, a fantastic year. And I hope you are just being as fantastic as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. For all the people wondering how I made this delicious dress, here's how I made it. I grabbed some calico, which is just some cheap fabric, and then I grabbed my dress form Samus. Ooh, look at that twirl, baby cake. I then measured the circumference of my waist with a measuring tape that's older than my existence. I then just grabbed any kind of craft paper, stuck it to the floor, and started sketching out my pattern. The pattern I'm using for the skirt portion of the dress is called a circle skirt. I will be leaving links in the description so that people can find different websites with the pattern on it so that you can make one yourself. They are my favorite thing to make for a few reasons. One, it is like the easiest, 
easiest thing to make. You can literally just use one piece of fabric, one good stitch, and you got a skirt. Like, it is, it is the easiest thing to make, and it's my absolute favorite. Also, it is like everyone's best friend, because if you don't have a waist and you don't have curves, but you want to have them, circle skirt. If you have a waist and you have curves, but you want to kind of cover a few things up, circle skirt. But if you also want to accentuate it, circle skirt. Also, if you want to spin around in a circle and have, like, your skirt just flutter in the wind, Circle skirt. If you want a twirly quality skirt, go for a circle. They're just my favorite thing. They're my favorite thing. But because I wanted a nice midi length dress, I had to cut the pattern in half. That way, like, it would actually fit on the fabric because I did not buy fabric that was wide enough. Ha ha ha. Good job, past Janet. But once you are happy with your pattern, get yourself a pair of skeezers, cut her on out, and then start to pin her to the fabric of choice. And once she is nice and secure, release her from the rest of the fabric and just cut her on out. If you are like me and you had to cut your circle skirt into sections don't forget to pin all your pieces together stitch them all together make sure that all the seams are on the same side <laughs> i forgot about that part at one point and then once you do all that you get this brilliant looking masterpiece oh now i am not going to lie to you guys the skirt oh she worked out perfectly she went exactly to plan the shirt on the other hand was a bit of a fever dream I, I didn't have a pattern. I just went off the cuff and I just got... All, all I did was I got a big piece of fabric. I, I stabbed it into me dress form. I just stuck it to my dress form and was like, oh, yes, yeah, she'll be right. And then just started folding bits and pieces of the fabric until it fit the dress form. Because Samus is an adjustable dress form, I have it adjusted to my body shape as closely as possible. I was able to pin it to Samus as if like I was pinning it to myself, which meant that I was able to get this beautiful looking shape that I was actually quite happy with. Then once I was happy with the front, I just got two more pieces of fabric and I also started to pin them to the dress form. I pinned them so that the dress itself was inside out. That way I knew where I was going to be stitching. And in the whole entire process, I would take it off the mannequin, try it on inside out, try not to stab myself. And if I was happy with it, then I would stitch it up. If I wasn't happy with it, however, I would put it back on the mannequin, repin it, retry it on. I did that probably like 20 times until I was happy with the fit of said top. But regardless, if you go with the pattern, if you don't go with the pattern, whenever you're happy with how it is all sitting pinned together, just stitch her on up. Make sure she's nice and secure. Don't want to come loose when you're outside. Then we get the sleeves. The sleeves were a whole other kettle of fish. Um, I once again just got some random pieces of fabric and I pinned them to my mannequin and then apparently I got a permanent marker and sketched out the pattern on top of the mannequin. Um... Look, I don't make great decisions in life. That was probably one of them. But the dress did work out, so I guess good job me. I still don't even know what happened. I don't even remember filming half of this. I was eventually happy with the shirt, so I decided to combine both the shirt and the skirt together to make said dress. I just pinned it so that the seams were once again on the outside of the dress, and then once I was happy with how it was pinned, I would try it on, try not to stab myself, um, which I was very unsuccessful at. Um, haha, <laughs> that hurt. And then once I was happy with it, of course I just ran a sewing machine over the top of it so it was nice and secure, wasn't gonna come undone, while I was having a cute little well, once the dress was all in one piece, I needed a way to secure it to myself, so I decided to go with a zipper. You could go with Velcro or buttons. I wanted to go with a zipper because I find it easiest. Always pin a zipper on and stitch a zipper on to an outfit when it is done up. That way, like, the zipper lines up. If you do it while it's, like, open, there's a possibility that you're gonna, like, do it on different levels and suddenly you've got a wonky zipper like my wonky spine and like pfft, no one wants that and then once you're happy with it once again stitch it on up once you have a full dress together you get to get to the chalkboard paint just grab yourself some chalkboard paint get it from your local hardware store get yourself a big fat chubby brush that way you get like the most amount of application and then just spend some time painting like it's it's actually like the most therapeutic process ever i that was probably my favorite part of the whole entire dress was just painting it. Just painting it. Then once the dress was nice and dry, I just wanted to hem it a little bit. So I just grabbed some bias binding and a hot glue gun and I just started sticking it to the dress. And then that's how you get these beautiful baby cakes. I'm the dress. I'm the dress.